Hello everybody, Chris from Felgrau Productions here, and as you can see, I've got a variety of different washes here. Over the holidays, I was gifted, as part of my uh, set of Monument Hobbies paints from last Christmas, uh, I got a collection of their new wash lines. So we have black, brown, and a flesh wash here, all Pro Pro Monument Hobbies. Now traditionally, I've been very happy with the Army Painter washes, uh, dark, strong, and flesh wash being the corresponding to these, as well as other things like soft tone and their colored wash lines. And then over here, we also have the GW washes, which I have occasionally used. They are a little more expensive, but they are good. Um, the only old GW wash I own is I old some old Agrax Earthshade, and then I also have the new pots, the ones that are the same price, but smaller. Um, in Reichland Fleshlight, the new Agrax Earthshade, and also Nuln Oil. So what I'm going to do here is a little experiment. <clears throat> now, as you might know from my channel, I am primarily a painter of small scale figures, uh, 10 millimeter being my favorite scale. So I have some 3D Breed uh, Tiny Epic Battles Vikings here. These are 10 millimeter on a strip, sort of like War Master. And these have some really good details and some really nice crevices. And so we're going to be able to get a good idea of how these washes handle on all the little scale mail and their braids and the spear bits and all of this. So I'm going to paint them up. Uh, I might also do a mix because I do not know what, what these are going to look like. I've never used them. So depending on what their color tone is, I'm going to try to max the Agrax and Strong Tone and then or Agrax and Strong Tone and then the uh, Flesh Wash and the Reglan Flesh Shade as much as I can, that these two, I'm not sure how they're going to look. So we're going to test this out. After it all dries, we're going to come back and see what they look like. So we're back. I painted these up, or I guess washed them up last night, and then let them dry overnight. I did not add anything to these washes, just straight from the pot. Made sure they didn't gloop in any particularly strong patterns. And as you can see, I've labeled them. The two figures on the left, those are the Games Workshop washes. The ones in the middle are the Pro Pro washes, and the two on the right are the Army Painter washes. So starting with the first ones, and I think this is the one that I have the the clearest verdict on, just which is the best. This is the Black Wash, the Nuln Oil, the Dark Tone, and with Army Painter, and I think this is going to be something that we're going to see across the board, the Army Painter washes are good washes, but they also tend to stain things. And so people who use Army Painter tend to paint brighter uh, base coats, at least I do, and then allow the Army Painter to stain things. And that can work sometimes with some natural weather. Now this is the new Nuln Oil. You can see it does significantly less staining than the Army Painter. Again, this is the Games Workshop. This is the Army Painter. You can see the chain mail, it's in all of the crevices here that make the chain mail, but on this chain mail over here, it kind of dulled everything down a lot. So this this new Nuln Oil is good, and I think it's better than the Dark Tone if it is more expensive. But I think that the Black Wash by Pro Krill is the best. And the reason for that is it went into the recesses flawlessly. It just seeped into all the recesses. And something about the surface tension, you can see the shields here, there's relatively little staining around the shield on the Games Workshop. And then this one over here got a little bit of pooling. But the shields here, and there's some 3D printing flaws on them, um, is something about the capillary action. I don't know. You can really make it all the details. I think the best exhibit of this is on the braids. So you can see the braids here on the left, good crevice work, stains the upper edges. Over here, not as much staining, but also doesn't quite go into the, the the plats of the braids as much. Whereas the one here, this guy's braid, you can really make out the detail on his braid without it doing too much staining. You can also see, uh, there's only a little bit of chain mail on these guys in the middle, so it's not a perfect one-to-one -one test, but you can see that it did go into the little holes that make up the chain mail. And so I think this is just straight up the black wash by Pro Prill, the Pro Quill, uh, gives us the benefits of the Nuln Oil in that it seeps into all of the recesses very well. It doesn't have the staining power of the Dark Tone, but it goes into the crevices and makes them darker than the Nuln Oil, kind of being the best of both worlds. So this is darker overall, but stains. This is lighter, doesn't stain, and this is dark with less staining. And so I think 
once I use up some of my, uh, well, once I use up these two pots, it might be a while, uh, I'm going to use exclusively the Procro Black Wash. Now, that's kind of where the simplicity ends, because with the others, it's a bit of a mixed bag. These are all of our Agrax Earthshade, Strong Tone, and Brown Wash. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you. That is the Procro Brown Wash. It is totally different from Strong Tone and from Agrax Earthshade. This, by the way, is the new Agrax Earthshade, and this is the old Agrax Earthshade. The old Agrax Earthshade does a lot of staining. And just like the whole thing is kind of this dark, dirty brown. Whereas the new one, it goes into the crevices much more. So we'll primarily be looking at the new Agar Associate, especially because the old Agar, well, you just can't buy new ones anymore. This is not a Agrax or a Strong Tone replacement. It is a brown wash. In fact, I think it is much more like the Army Painter's mid-brown wash, which is a true brown with maybe a little bit of red in it. And I, I don't use all that often. You can see a, a bit of an example up there. So what I did is I took the brown and the black and I mixed two parts brown to one part black. And it came out more black. I think if I did this again, I would do three parts brown or maybe even four parts brown to one part black because this is a relatively weak wash, as you can see. The staining is relatively mild, like the Games Workshop, but also the crevices are not darkened down as much. I think my favorite of all of these is actually the strong tone. The strong tone does not stain as much as the dark tone. In fact, I think the um, the Agar's Earthshade does more staining, whereas the strong tone actually goes into the recesses more. I'm not quite sure why. I did, by the way, I shook the heck out of this thing um, because I did this once and I'm like, oh my god, I must have not shaken it enough. The pigment's all on the bottom and I actually wiped it all up with a damp brush before I was done, let it dry, reapply it, and it still came out like that. So. I think if you want to make your own Agrax Earthshade or your own Strong Tone using the uh, the Procro line, you're going to have to concoct your own using a little bit of brown wash and a little bit of black wash, except the black wash is very, very strong. So if I had to buy just one of these, I would buy the Strong Tone, followed by the Agrax, and then unfortunately in third place is the brown wash by Procro. And making your own, eh, maybe, maybe it could work. Finally. <clears throat> we have the Flesh uh, flesh Wash, also Flesh Wash, and Reckon Flesh Aid. So once again, the stories here is a little different. The Flesh Wash by Procrel, Reckon Flesh Aid, Army Painter. The Reckon Flesh Aid and the Army Painter are more orangey sepias. Or as you can see, the Flesh Wash is very much a uh, kind of pinky red. It's a good wash. It goes into the crevices very well. Again, similar to the dark wash, you can see it really went into the plaits of this braid without staining so much the rest. Uh, same with their little leg wraps down here. You can really see the difference. These leg wraps, not as much detail plucked out as this one. So as a wash, I think the new Procro Flesh Wash is better than the others, but is it going to work for you? It's very red. I tried mixing up a 50-50 mix of the flesh wash and the brown, and you end up with a bit more of a brownie red. It's still not quite the more sepia tones that we're used to with Reikland Flesh Shade and Flesh Wash. So I think this is a very good wash. It's just if you're used to Reikland or Flesh Tone, you're going to have to adjust the way that you paint skin. I think it will be worth it because I think this is a better wash. You just have to experiment with it. So overall, my recommendations from this little experiment are the new black wash is just absolutely astounding. It, it completely blows Null Oil and Dark uh, Tone out of the water, I think, in terms of not fully staining the upper areas while still getting into those crevices and making them really dark. The brown wash is unfortunately kind of a bust for me, and so I'm going to still use Strong Tone. And in a second place is the new Agrax Earthshade, with the old Agrax just kind of being left off because, eh, it, it's, you know, you can't really get it anymore. And on the Flesh Wash, I think the one that I like the most of these is actually the Reikland Flesh Shade. I think it's a little stronger 
than the uh, flesh tone. I've never really been a big fan of the the flesh wash by Army Painter. Um, it's similar, just not quite as strong as the Reichland. So I think the the Reichland's the one to go with if you're comfortable with Reichland. If you want to, except for the fact that their top suck, the whole pot sucks. Um, if you want to try the Procrel, I think this flesh wash is good. It's just different, and you'll need to experiment. So those are my recommendations. The Black Wash by Procrel, the Strong Tone, and the Rikon Flesh Shade, or maybe the Procrel Flesh Wash. I hope this has been helpful to you. Uh, when I start using these and painting some 20 mil figures, I will post some other videos so you can see how this looks like over non-white primers. Hope everyone is having a happy holidays. Keep going out there printing, painting, and playing. Have a good one.